Greetings and welcome to Pharaoh. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really excited to play this game because this is a remake of the old Sierra City Building classic Pharaoh. Um, and it seems pretty good. I've done a few levels already just to kind of get through some of tutorial land so I can show you some stuff. And um, also I would like to apologize for the audio quality of my voice. I have two problems going on, and please, if you are new to the channel, don't let this put you off. Um, at the moment, I am having kind of a bad cold, where I've actually lost my voice completely yesterday. And today it is slightly better, but yeah, it's not great. Um, and the other thing is, I am on the road. So I have a different microphone than the normal one that records my dulcet tones with honey-like quality. Uh, we are actually on the headset which will resume when I get back. But for the moment, I wish I could stay here forever. I am in Swedenland visiting uh, my dear Matthias. So we are going to do some stuff now. Uh, we're going to play this game. Uh, I have started, so there's two different modes that you can start in. And one of them is campaign, which I have started on. That's kind of the story thing. Or you can do this like scenario map. But I have, I actually remembered my old name that I always used to choose when I started a new game in Pharaoh Kia. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go with this. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Okay, uh, you can do the mission selection even after you've started a campaign game. Cool. All right. Well, we're gonna keep on going with the campaign game. Uh, and go where we where we're gonna go. So I have done two tutorial land missions, uh, Nubt and Athenis, and now we are Perwadiet. Uh, I'm sure that's not correct pronunciation. Anyway, your family begins the pre-dynastic period, leading a small band of nomads through their discovery of the arts of civilization. Your leadership helps to set Egypt on its course to eventual greatness, still glimpsed only dimly. Yeah, we are way back in the past, um, 3500 to 3050 BCE. Let's go. The precarious Nile. Okay, so we are here are our wind conditions. We need a population of 600, 10 modest homesteads. <coughs> so that's a level 7 house. Um, which is a decent amount of stuff you have to provide for stuff. We have some really nice tool tips that keep coming up on the load screen. You can actually leave this on. I have the play button, but you can um, uh, you can stay and, and read them, which is very nice. The only comment that I would have to the developers is that they should have left a little bit more time, especially for the very long ones, because some of them it's very difficult to read them in time and probably will take two readings. Anyway, let's go. The Thinite nobles still struggle to unite the lands of, Ni of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you will endeavor to establish a... Oh gosh, uh, there's a voiceover. I turned the uh, sound down because the music is really loud, but apparently it really turned down the um, narrator. It, the narration is actually very good. Um, but yeah, you probably can't hear it. So to support a population larger than half a village, you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have begun to exploit the rich, fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along the banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying mosquitoes. All right, so we don't want to get our debt rising too high. Floodplains and farming. To feed your people in Parwadiat, you must build farms directly on the floodplain in order to gain the benefits of increased fertility. Unlike most working structures, farms on the floodplain do not need direct access to employees, but they do need a steady workforce of peasant laborers supplied by work camps. I uh, work camps to tend their lands, pardon me. <clears throat> Sorry, right. throat. Build work camps fairly close to floodplain farms, so peasants won't have to walk too far to reach them. Each year, the Nile floods its banks, replenishing the depleted soil on the floodplain with rich, fertile mud. Peasants harvest the annual crop just before the inundation and deliver it to your granaries. Because there is only one harvest each year, make sure your city has enough granaries to store a sufficient amount of food for your growing population. Yeah, that's really important. <coughs> Pardon me. So, the... 
We have the option to pause the game, which is space, and then you can increase the speed even while the game is paused, but it will not go. So you have to unpause. So these are the floodplains. Now this is an unusual area because this has all kinds of grass. Normally this chunk of stuff is desert, but this is a farming tutorial, so they're going to teach us how to farm in this particular thingy thingy. So we're going to start off by building uh, housing um, along the areas here that we need. And we will, let's do, I want to do these blocks, but not too giant. Um, now, if you remember the old Sierra City building series, now I liked most of those games. I think Caesar was my least favorite, though I did like the column styles. That's how I learned my columns. How did you learn yours? Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, you have like roadblocks. The people get goods and stuff from um, from wandering employees that wander the roads. So it's really important that you have very good road control um, or path control, I guess is a better way of putting that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the corners because we need those for other things. <clears throat> but these, take these off. Um, so we're going to put in roadblocks here, here and there to basically make two uh, large rectangles to walk and that will help keep our walkers on track. So uh, we need to set up some services. We'll go ahead and unpause and let the settlers come in. We're going to get water supply, one here and then say there. We'll put in an extra roadblock there. Uh, there we go. And then we'll get in our markets, bazaar, to distribute food. So the water source that we have, now the game goes into great detail. Oh yeah, you should put wells down, uh, and then later you need a water source. You do not need wells in any way, shape, or form. Um, they kind of want to encourage you to, to build near the grassy bits, which you need for the water source. But you do not need wells at all. Not needed. Anyway, let's go ahead and put in some of our buildings that are needed for fun stuff. This is an architect. This prevents our houses from falling down, collapsing. Firehouse prevents our buildings from catching fire. That's kind of nice. Um, we also have the physician, which is a doctor, obviously. <clears throat> we also have a apothecary which we haven't gotten yet police station prevents crime so we'll get one of those as well and then we have entertainment this is another important thing we're going to put in two booths juggling booths right on the corner they are over a corner and then they take up one tile you see now why i left space for these now these guys are at the far end of stuff and i'm going to put the juggler school at this end and what that helps do is as the juggler is walking to the juggling booth, they also uh, provide entertainment. Ah, respect is due. Okay. Oh dear, we have upset Osiris. That is not good. All right, so let's put our juggler school, say, I don't know, here, maybe. <coughs> so these places, you notice I only put half over this thing. These need access to employees, which are generated by people being able to walk along the road and find a house like hey any workers free in there can we borrow somebody so that's what that happens so now i've been putting down kind of like basic services we've got the market which distributes food which we don't have any food yet um we have the water supply again the water carrier is this guy here um yeah not enough workers okay but they will walk around the circles that i've created here um the doctor uh, physician is also there as well and then we have police to catch criminals because one of the things that uh our palace can get robbed we don't have a palace at the moment we might get the introduction to get taxes and stuff this particular um scenario so we'll just see okay Let's get religion going on because that's kind of important. <clears throat> now having a festival square is actually pretty nice. Um, I guess we can take apart this section here and just add a festival square. 
Festival Square needs to be at a crossroads. I think you only need two thingies. Then you can add your Festival Square. It is in religion because this is festivals to the gods, of course. Why else would you have a festival? Come on. Um, <clears throat> now, unfortunately, this generates a crossroads, uh, which is not good for the walkers because the walkers... It's really best to keep them on task and not going four different directions. But having the festival square is kind of nice. I guess I could have put it just like out here if I wanted to. But this seems okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see. If it, if it causes us issues later, we can change it. Anyway, when you have a patron deity, uh, and I guess we can look at that right now. There are overlayers, overlays and overseers. Uh, the temples is here. Osiris is resentful, and obviously he's our patron deity. There are no other gods to worship here, so we're going to have to please Osiris here. <clears throat> Let's hold a new festival. Let's go ahead and put in a large festival and order one so that he gets less unhappy, and we will go ahead and build some temples. Improve Osiris's mood. Yeah, we should probably do that. All right, there's one there, and we'll build one there as well. Okay. So we need to get the farmland going on now. We have not gotten that yet. So let's see, fig farm. Let's uh, let's just do that. Let's get our let's get the farms in first, I guess. Okay, this is a pain in the socks. These need road access. And for those people who have played this in the past, you will just come right up on this and remember the heck out of this. This is pretty great. I am so excited for this game to be out. It's it's really super cool. Also, I forgot to mention, I think, thank you to the developer for giving me a key to play this game for you today. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, there we go. Work camp. I don't know how many I need. Okay, it doesn't say how many... Alright, um, let's see if we're able to get workers. I don't know if we are. No workers live nearby. We can, maybe what we do is take a, a road here and connect it to this um, circle of workers. Does that work? Uh, let's see if that works, if we get a few more people in here. All right, here we go, maybe. Hello, no workers live nearby, this is not great. Uh, I didn't think it was that far, but I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it's too far. Um, hmm. Okay, let's try to make some closer. I don't know how many are needed. Okay, so those are the work supervisor people, I think. We'll see. Let's see, does this one have? No workers live nearby. No, no, no. Ah, this one. This is the closest. No, now they're all. They have all except for this one. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's go ahead and put them on a road to go that way. <clears throat> so they can work on these floodplain farms. Okay, malaria. It's the most prevalent close to water and marshland. Malaria overlay shows which houses are more likely to succumb to the illness. Access to clean water from a water supply and insect repellent provided by the local apothecary both greatly reduce the risk of malaria for any given household. Like most buildings, the apothecary only functions when it has road access and labor. Okay, we are getting the inundation that replenishes the uh, nutrients in the soil. So this is great. Very great. We're going to now get our services of the apothecary added up here. This is a tiny one by one building, so we'll put that here. And say here. <clears throat> Keep upgrading your housing. Okay. Fun, fun. All right, so now. Let's get another fig farm or two out here. Okay. <clears throat> we'll add those there. 
Now, do we have... Okay, no workers. So hopefully we're going to get some people actually doing stuff here. There we go. Now we have some workers. These guys... Why did they not come out these doors over there? I don't know. Anyway, hopefully they will um, add themselves to these farms here. Not really sure what they're going to do, but I, guess, I think they're going to go over there. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, we do need to have more workers because that's not enough. Okay. I guess those can be reached by the other road, technically. Nilometer prediction. Uh -huh. Or nilometer, perhaps. I don't know what the general pronunciation would be. I don't think it's a thing. All right, here we go. Work camp. Again, I'm not actually sure how many of these things we need, but we will see. So let us get, um, we do need granaries. That is important. So we'll maybe stick one over here. Granaries, we are told, are not very pleasant places to live near for the people. So keep them away from population. They're kind of like low desirability kind of places. Um, but let's check our uh, overlays here real quick. Water, entertainment, no. Health, ah yes, we were looking at health, malaria, I guess. Embalmers, dentists, physicians. <coughs> okay, so we have some issues with physicians that they're not quite getting to where they need to go, which is weird. You know, here's one physician. I think it's this intersection messing everybody up. Um, it's definitely not great. Herbalists are covering, but physicians, not a thing. I think I'm going to have to move that festival overlay. I don't like it there at all. So what we'll do is we'll move it over here. I think there used to be a reason to have it uh, nearby the villagers. I don't know if there's still a reason or not. Um, there might be. There we go. We'll put it there, and then we'll fix this intersection to change um, the access there. There we go. That should improve the malaria uh, thing quite extensively. All right, so we have these fig farms, <coughs> and um, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good indeed. I don't know how many farms are supported by how many work camps. We'll just have to see. Um, not irrigated. Yep, we have not unlocked irrigation yet, if you remember. I love the irrigation in this game. This this reminded... I think that's where the um, Anno 1800 got their irrigation ideas uh, I could be wrong, but I think it feels very much like Pharaoh. We're out of money. Oh, dear. There we go. We have more workers. Excellent. Okay, so this looks like... Well, there are two work camps supporting six farms. That's pretty nice. So this looks like we probably don't need this at all. Maybe we do a this though, and get rid of this road there, and just have a stop there, something like that. <clears throat> okay, the figs have been harvested. Here we go. Is three granaries enough? Maybe. Okay, no, they're not enough, because this guy's waiting. Granary... Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Hopefully this guy should go. There he goes. Yeah, that's how you know you don't have enough space is when one of the the transporters is waiting in the water almost. And it's like, oh, okay, not enough space. So this one did not get opened up. That's that's really weird that I think we did have, or, or was it the market people that got stuff? I'm not actually sure what happened there. Anyway, we now have food. That enables our 
houses to upgrade to the next level. I'm going to have rough cottages. Um, I don't know if we can see what level this is. I don't remember what was our thing that we're supposed to do in this uh, thing. Keep upgrading your housing. Okay, we're going to do our best. Okay, anything else? No road access. Okay, that's fine. Protect your citizens. Whether we have those things, good. I'm not really sure what we can do to upgrade the housing. Because at the moment, we don't have access to anything else. We've literally built everything they have. Um, we could look. We don't have the palace. Maybe we should build a palace. I don't actually really want to build a palace because I feel like it's probably <clears throat> not needed right now. Ah, I wonder if that was needed to proc this industry thing. Now that you've given your people basic food and water, you can enhance their lifestyle with other goods such as pottery. Build a clay pit close to water and a potter nearby. Make sure these have access to labor as usual, and before long, a cart will deliver a clay to a potter who will create pottery for your city. Build a storage yard to ensure the final product as well as any excess clay the potter does not need. Uh, three clay pits can usually supply clay for four potters. Okay, so we have a three to four ratio there. Workers from the bazaar will collect the pottery from the storage yard and distribute it just as they do food. Industries like pottery also provide your city's inhabitants with much needed jobs. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, maybe we put it up here. Let's get our storage yard going on here. Uh, there we go. We'll put that here. Ah, yep, looks nice. Just like it did in the old days. Ah, oh, all these storage yards. What we're going to do is we're going to accept no, no clay. I want the clay to be delivered directly to the potters. Um... Now the potters might need production. There we go. Clay pit potter. So three clay pits to four potters, I believe, right? Let's put it one, two, three, and four. And of course, if we have enough, we can always um, hello. If we have enough, we could always sell some. Um, I don't know if we have... We don't actually have access to trade yet, but that I'm sure is coming soon. Wait, what? Oh, no. Wait. What is... Is that the clay? It is. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. I thought it was a space there. Okay, it's fine. I shouldn't have deleted all of them. I should have only deleted some of them, I feel. Uh, we will also need to delete these roadblocks. Okay. And... Actually, I should have done it another way. Whoops. Alright, let's get goods production here. One more clay pit. Why does this not work? Hello? Maybe, uh, maybe it's not close enough to the water. Okay. Potter. One, two, three, and four. We're going to put in the road here. And then put in the roadblock here. <clears throat> and I don't know... Let's see. No fire risk cannot collapse. Okay. <clears throat> so these don't have any. I don't... It doesn't say cannot, so... Might still need to... Uh, Watch those, we'll see. Okay, now we have more food going on here. Let's see there, we're getting some clay extracted from these pits. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Workforce and unemployment. You have always had to make sure that you have, you always have to make sure that you have more population than job openings. However, not everyone in your city is able to work. You can get a quick glance at your workplace, working population and unemployment stats by hovering over the population corner counter on uh, sorry on the top panel. <clears throat> More info is also available from your overseers. Try to keep your unemployment below 10%, but make sure you always have enough workers. A new era, uh, Pharaoh, a new era simulates an aging population. 
where only 60% of the 20 to 49 year olds are available for work. If you are having trouble with the system, you can use the options to switch to a fixed worker ratio for your population, regardless of their age. In order to teach you to play with this mechanic, the option won't affect the tutorial. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> so we can look that up if we want to. Go ahead and get pottery done and made. So store pottery in a storage yard. Let's go. So we, this is funny. Look at them <laughs> shoving these pots in and out. <laughs> That's quite mechanical. My goodness. Beautification. Good job. You've got some great, some industry up and running, and now you can think about making a few improvements to your city. Beautification can be used to make some neighborhoods more desirable. By making the areas surrounding them more attractive, garden statues and plazas can help houses to evolve. Several garden uh, plots can be placed next to each other to form larger parks, but their appearance is random. Place plazas on paved roads to enhance their appearance and improve the desirability of nearby land. You can rotate statues like most buildings using the R key. If you'd rather choose which garden you like, you place it akin to statues. You can switch between the two systems and the options. Okay, I remember them being op being uh, random. Okay, so what we probably want to do is uh, let's see what we have in terms of beautification here. Uh, hello. Ah, it's not giving me the, um, I'm just going to pause and entertainment, education, health, religion, taxation, risks, desirability. There we go. Oh my God, this is horrible. Okay, let's fix this. Yo. Let's do a little bit of a, um, maybe kind of a checkerboard thing here. Ish. Beautification, here we go. Gardens, plazas, and then we have statues. Wow, those are big statues, some of them. Nice. Okay, we're gonna just put gardens because I tend to like them. They're very nice. But yeah, they have various kinds of gardens. Yeah, we're in debt now. Sad times. Plazas are very expensive, uh, but they do go on roads. How much does this cost? Three forty-five. Ah, of course. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! Oh, that's not good. What? Well, what do you mean, Osiris, dude? Also, uh, just FYI, you can only place a plaza on roads that are the thick roads, not the thin ones. I forgot about that. Anyway, we need to fix uh, fix up Osiris. Um, I think we need, in addition to the temples, the big temples, we do need small shrines. I think that's a thing. I'm not sure, but it might be. Let's just put in a couple of shrines here. Let's see if he's happy now. Overseers. Granaries, reversions. I wish it would just. Can you just please put the name right next to it? Why do I have to like a mouse over every single one of them? Come on, it's it's such a weird thing to me. All right, what is this? Thirty-one. Let's hold a new festival. Okay, there we go. Warning. What is the warning for? We don't have enough money to hold a festival. Oh dear. Okay, we need 600 population and 10 modest homesteads. That's, those are ordinary cottages, okay. But we do have quite a lot of desirability now built up, which is good. So let's look at the overlays again and see. Again, I've got no idea what these things mean. They mean absolutely nothing. It's really frustrating to like have these menus that are absolutely meaningless. Um, really needs to have persistent uh, text here. It's it's not good as it is. Very not good. Very very not good. I don't like um, overlay or I don't like UIs that are obscure, like needlessly obscure. There's no reason for that at all. It's kind of horrible, like really horrible. Okay, 
so desirability is going to be the bottom one. That's the only way I know it. It's the bottom one. Our population is pretty decently high, but I'm not getting the click on the thing or mouse over the thing to see your population breakdown. It is not giving that to me at all, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> okay. We might want to uh, delete some stuff here and really push um, some kind of gardens, maybe. Or, I mean, statues. Alright, let's see if that helps anything here. Let's do this one. Replace with a statue. Don't want to get too far in debt because at the moment we have no ability to generate income. In the previous um, tutorial mission, we had the ability to mine gold, but we do not have that right now, I see. Not gardens. Let's go with this. Okay, overlays. Okay, it's not quite good. It's very barely kind of greenish there. <clears throat> I don't know exactly how many gardens I need, but I'm gonna, let's do this and we'll extend this garden. I don't know if a larger garden is gonna be better, as in like maybe it's synchronistically better not actually sure about this. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe, although maybe what we might need is a 3x3 a three three garden. Let's try that. There we go. There's our 3x3 three three garden. But I'm worried about the money. <coughs> okay, stuff is upgrading itself. This is good. What else do they need here? Excellent health. It looks like they have everything they need except maybe pottery. They might need pottery. Um, well, we have pottery actually. So it looks like it's just a failure of the market at the moment. So maybe if they get pottery, they will be happier. I'm just gonna wait for the market people to scroll around and come and visit this household. These people have everything. So they have everything they can get, it looks like. Maybe they just need higher no entertainment. Okay. Let's look at our entertainment overlay. Yeah, this is such a waste of time. Like the whole like clicking these things. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, so what we probably want to do here, I'm thinking, is put in jugglers courts on the corners here. Uh, maybe that will generate more jugglers. Put one there as well. So it looks like this inside lane is just not getting any jugglers. Okay. Let's clear the overlay as well. So why are you not evolving? No entertainment. Um... Ah, maybe this is the problem. Maybe we need the festival square over there. That could be it. We might need to have the festival square close by here. 
Um, dang. Erg. Okay, well, all right, let's try that. Let's try moving the festival square up here instead. Uh, I hate to do this, but yeah, I gotta move it. I think this is the problem is the festival. They need the festival square providing entertainment to them. Because I think it counts as a second form of entertainment. All right, let's go ahead and go from here. And do we need to actually hold? I don't think we can actually hold a festival, can we? I would love to, folks. We have no money, though. Okay. Whoops, nope. I don't know if this is going to count or not. Because we might actually be in a a very bad situation where we are stuck. Let's see if we can figure out how to trade. There might be a way to trade, but I don't think we have access to it. Trade. Okay, so you need what? The world map shows us where we can trade. We do have that as grayed out. It will not open. Warning! You do not have money to have a festival. Wow, this sounds great. I think we might be in trouble. Slight trouble here. Because at 5,000 minus Debens, yeah, it's going to be end game. But I think this is literally the only way we can generate more entertainment. No entertainment found in the area. Yeah, but they have everything else. They just don't have anything. Let's see. Um, Nihilometer. That is such a silly thing. Okay. Overlays. Entertainment. All. Jugglers, musicians, dancers. Uh, Senate players and zookeepers. Okay, maybe it's not not that. I don't know. We need ten modest homesteads. These are ordinary cottages. It's a shanty. I'm trying to think. Gosh, did we overlook this? No, I don't think so. I think this is the thing we need, but it is not working otherwise. But yeah, that's what it wants. See, that's a desirability issue. This is an entertainment issue. Can we build any other entertainment? Booth? Juggler school? Not really. I think that's it. I don't think we can build anything else. Alright, tutorial, you have failed us. And of course, the money's going to keep on ticking down, even if I don't build anything more, because the workers have to be paid. And right now, I have zero ability to collect taxes or anything like that. Um, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we're in a bad spot right now. Does this give us anything? The palace? No, malaria. Oh, dear. Some homes have come down with malaria. Better health measures could prevent the needless waste of human life. Well, the moment we don't have any problems that, yeah, we don't have the ability to fix anything. I think we're just going to end up crash and burning. Crashing and burning. This is not a great intro, game. You realize, game, that, uh, you know, you want people to play your game? You know, your, your, your thing? Yeah, I failed my people. Oh, bitter day, your ignoble end should have been unthinkable. You have failed your people, your ancestors, and your descendants. Now, Egypt yearns for another champion to take your place. Right, so this shouldn't have been possible. I think that this should have been reworked. There is a warning at the beginning of every level saying that you should not go below this amount of stuff. But when it says, hey, you need a lot of people, um, I guess I should have built better or built less, maybe. Um... But it still should have been possible to gain income back, I feel. So um, I'm hoping that they will improve this, especially since it's a tutorial mission. 
um, for how to be more a bit more successful, or at least give the player another route to the end. Because I think the solution to this uh, particular level would have been to have a festival, and then you have festival players, which does improve the entertainment uh, combination of an area, as I recall. So anyway, um, we're going to have to just say that'll be the end of the episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.